It's official. Canada's 43rd election is underway after Justin Trudeau walked into Rideau Hall this morning and asked the Governor General to dissolve Parliament. Election day is October 21st. And the leaders wasted no time hitting the campaign trio. Good evening. I'm live in Woodbridge where all of these people are lining up waiting to see Conservative leader Andrew Scheer who will be speaking in that building in the next half an hour or so. Now a lot has changed since the last election in 2015 when Justin Trudeau won a sweeping majority. He is now the incumbent with political baggage, not the first time challenger. And he is now facing a very different battle. We've done a lot together these past four years, but the truth is, we're just getting started. Four years ago, Justin Trudeau campaigned on hope and change, and it worked with voters who were weary of Stephen Harper's Conservatives. Sunny ways, my friends, sunny ways. Trudeau became an international celebrity, but his sunny ways hit turbulence. Voters started to sour after seeing tone-deaf pictures of his trip to India, followed by the SNC-Lavalin scandal, which is still simmering. Trudeau has already been found in violation of ethics guidelines, and last night the Globe and Mail reported the Liberal government is hindering an RCMP investigation into potential obstruction of justice because it won't lift cabinet confidentiality. The Liberal leader insisted again today he was simply protecting jobs. No mistakes. No mistakes. His poor judgment will lead to more scandal at home and more weakness abroad. Simply put, he is just not as advertised. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer, who's been battling liberal accusations of homophobia and anti-abortion bias, was quick to attack Trudeau at his first official stop in Quebec. It is the 40-year-old's first campaign as conservative leader. He's trying to sway voters with promises he'll make life more affordable. The lead Sheer enjoyed at the start of the SNC-Lavalin scandal has dissipated, and he is now neck and neck with Trudeau. The NDP's falling fortunes aren't helping Sheer. We can act now to take on the climate crisis and build 300,000 new quality jobs, but only if we have the courage to take on the big polluters and to end the fossil fuel subsidies. This is also the first federal election for Jagmeet Singh as NDP leader. His party is floundering with a diminishing war chest and a shortage of candidates. Tight on his heels, the Greens. Elizabeth May is hoping to win more than her party's current two seats. Tomorrow night, City TV and McLean's are teaming up to host the first election debate. While Andrew Scheer, Jagmeet Singh and Elizabeth May are attending, Justin Trudeau has declined the invitation. Now, while polls do show Scheer and Trudeau virtually tied, they also suggest the Liberals might have an advantage because they appear to be ahead in Ontario and Quebec, which would ultimately give them more seats. And that is exactly why Andrew Scheer is coming here to Woodbridge tonight. The 905 area around Toronto is going to be a key battleground with a lot of seats that he will be hoping to win over.